Good morning. Today I am watching Roger Rosengarten. He's just over six foot five. He's 308 pounds. He has 33 and one half inch arms. I don't believe I've ever made a player comparison, but I'm going to compare him to Alejandro Villanueva. I think both players are a bit unorthodox in their run blocking. We see Roger off the ball, second level defender coming downhill. He's just going to throw his hip and his right arm into this defender and run him. Roger has great movement skills, very athletic for the position. Quick feet, getting into his kick slide, easily adjusting to this inside rush. Shoots his hands. You can see he works his feet and hands together nicely on this rush. Again, we'll see him having to adjust and slightly recover inside. Plays this under control. Shoots that inside arm. Grabs cloth. Leans on him. Washes him down the line. Roger's pretty violent with his hands. I like how he mixes his pass sets in a similar manner, perhaps, to how a, an outside rusher mixes their approach. Off the ball, he gets into a two-step kick slide and then just jumps the rush. Stops his feet, powerful punch, pulls him down, continues to move his feet. Watch on this rep how he attacks the inside arm of the edge. Right there, gets him off balance, works to get his hands inside, controls him, and then finishes. Roger's athleticism enables him to recover, to counter. Even when he's beat, we're going to see a pretty good spin move. And then Roger counters with one of his own, and he's able to square up and protect the quarterback. Watch it again. Something that's very reminiscent of Villanueva when setting against a bull rush is this bear hug brace technique. I've never been partial to it. Don't like it. You can see this wide wind up here. More powerful athletic guys, TJ Watt, are going to run right through them. I do admire his ability to recover. Very similar in that his hands are wide. The end gets into his chest. You can see he's off balance, making an effort to reset. What I like is this wide arm very subtly slips down, gets inside, and he's able to win that rep late. I'm sure a lot of players, probably Roger, have been coached to catch these bull rushes, to use this technique. So it could be just me. That's a pretty powerful guy on the outside he's rushing against. But very wide arms, opening up his chest. I think that opens him up to push-pull. You can see the rush gets movement, but he works to anchor and reset. In the end, he gives the quarterback time to get the football out. I've noticed, especially with guys who are athletic, have active feet. When you see them stop their feet, the way you see it here, my sense is that they're in between sets. You can see him stop his feet, get on his heels, shoot his arms, and he gets beat outside. Against a wider rush, I think he's most successful using that quick athleticism and that punch or for him to use that athleticism, those quick feet, get into his kick slide, create some space. Here, to my mind, he gets caught in between those. At times, he has a tendency when he shoots his arms to bend from the waist. His feet get crossed here. Hands and feet not in concert. You can see his head and shoulders follow that shoot, and he's bent at the waist. As is typical, he's very smooth out of his stance, 
But as he gets into the set, you see him here bent at the waist, lunging. Again, sort of using that catch technique. Hands get knocked away. Quarterback takes a hit. Because he's so athletic, it does open up a lot in terms of getting him on the move, pulling him. You see he's quick out of his stance here, pulling outside the tight end. Does a nice job catching the defender, running his legs, turning his hips, taking him on an angle out of the play. Get a look at him pulling on counter. From the looks of this play, you're going to need a pretty athletic guard. You can see he's hot on his heels on this pull. Does a good job coming around the end, finding this linebacker, and sealing the edge. Something I did notice, and I wrote in my notes, although I'm not going to show it in the video, I noted that he had poor technique on down blocks so far as his outside arm in particular, and defenders would slip off of him. Here we see him athletic off the ball, getting on this linebacker. Powerful punch, kind of lifts him up, moves him. I'd rather he try to stay on this block, drive him on an angle and upfield. As a right tackle, my sense is that he will take his lumps in his first year. He will get stronger, be asked to put on some weight with the hope that he'll be a solid right tackle by year two.